I thought it would be kind of fun to make a plush Asta in the run-up to the launch of Alley Cat Rally. It's been a while since I've made any soft toys, and the last several I've made have been robots. I did make a cat a couple of years ago though. It took a few attempts, but it was pretty cute in the end, so I figured I could manage it again, this time with Asta. I started by sketching out the approximate profiles, then transferred them to some orange fleece. Then I got my great grandmother's singer out and got to work. If it looks completely unclear as to what's going on when I'm sewing here, then I've done an accurate job of filming the experience. I always find sewing a bit of a battle, but soft toys are usually squishy enough to be forgiving. Once I had wrangled the body into shape, I decided I would try something different for her arms and see if I could make them movable. I cobbled together these pivots using some split pins left over from a Vespa repair, which seemed to work pretty nicely. They say there are many ways to skin a cat, but I find them hard to find. Once I got some stuffing inside her, I really wasn't happy with this first attempt. But thankfully I had enough fabric to start again. I had a bit more confidence on this second attempt, which was funny considering how badly I felt the first attempt went. Asta version 2 came together astonishingly quickly. And not only was progress fast, but I was much happier with the proportions this time too. It really wasn't long before I was putting her final stitches in. It looks so much better. With the body made and assembled, I could move on to the most fun part of making a plush Asta, which was making her goggles. I came up with a crazy scheme to vacuum form the lenses. I sculpted the shape for them out of some scrap wood, then prepared an ad hoc vacuum forming chamber to make the magic happen. I haven't done vacuum forming since I was at school a million years ago but I did manage to melt some CDs in a domestic oven for an illustration I did a long time ago, so I figured I could use the same process to do some vacuum forming, but on home scale too. Like everything does, it took a few attempts, but once I debugged the process sufficiently, the results were perfect. We're still in lockdown in Britain at the moment, so I had to think on my feet to find something around the house I could make the goggle frames out of. I ended up trimming the edge of an old chamois and colouring it in with a black marker, which worked well enough. Stitching it together was a mission, but it was worth it because the goggles turned out so well. The last thing to do once the goggles were complete was to paint in Asta's details. Sounds like a good time for a calming painting moment. So here's plush Asta. She turned out really well, another good mini project. Thanks for watching, and no shame in it, buy my book!